Hi, this is Tyler with FluidityStudio.com, and I'm going to be showing you my free WordPress Catfish ad plugin, the basic version. I have a full version, which gives you a lot more features, adding your own images and tracking mouse overs and click throughs and all that stuff. And that is the one to have. But if you're uh, on a budget and you don't want to pay $10, which is all the full version costs, then you can have this free version. And I'm going to show you how it works. So you see at the bottom here, here is what um, the ad looks like. Now what happens is when someone comes to your site and they load the page, then the ad creeps up from the bottom. That's why they call it a catfish ad. So the catfish, you know, it's like a catfish coming up from the bottom uh, to the surface of the water for air. So that's where the name came from. And there is a close button. So if they close it, it'll go away. Uh, if they go to, you know, there's a cookie set. Right now I only have the cookie set to one second, so it's going to come back right away each time you refresh a page or go to another page. Um, and you can change the text in here and change the color and the boldness, but that's basically all it is. It's very limited in this particular plugin. But I'm going to show you what, how it works when you first install the plugin. So when we go to the admin, and once you install the plugin, You'll see on the left hand side on your main menu here in the dashboard, you'll see Catfish Add Basic. And you once you click on that, you'll see the settings page. And this box is unchecked by default, so nothing appears on the front side because there are default settings. Now if this was to be checked, you'd see on the front side, you'd see it pop up with a black background and it said content goes here and, and it wouldn't be clickable to anywhere except an error. Um, so you leave this alone. The first option is enter the con the text or content of your ad. Um, do not hit return or your ad will not show up. So it the text all has to run together. You can run entire, you know, sentences, but you, you want to run them together and not hit return because it's not meant to have all these paragraphs in it. So just type the, the sentences all together, um, you know, with your spaces after your period, obviously, just like you would type a normal paragraph. And you can change text color and boldness, but that's about it. They're very limited. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in some text here that I already have pre-typed up. And I can highlight it and I can bold it. Now, if I wanted to change the color, I can. Default color is white um, for the text. So if you had a different color background and the white was going to contrast with it, then you would want to um, change that by highlighting it and selecting the color. Now, I, I could have just put all this in an input box, just like this little box here, but then you wouldn't be able to change the color. And so I've got this bigger box with a little WYSIWYG, um, even though you can underline things too, but you're very limited. Now, if you want your ad to show up, then you need to have all your text, like I said, run together. So the next option is the background color. Default will be black, and this is color code, hex code, and there's all sorts of info on the web. Hopefully you're familiar with this stuff, having to deal with other WordPress plugins and such. Um, but the hex code six zeros or even three zeros is black. And so you would change, you know, change your color code to what you want. And um, the next one is the add height. Now it's auto right now to adjust to the um, height of the content that you put in there. So as much text as you enter, it will adjust the height to that. Now the address that you click through to, so if you're advertising something on your own blog and you want to link them right to it by you know pointing them to it, then you can put that in there. Uh, put whatever you want. I'm going to put it for Google right now. And the time on the ad cookie time, so the ad doesn't keep popping up and bugging people all the time. That's No one wants to keep seeing things over and over again. The default time is 600,000 milliseconds. Um, so once the ad dis is displayed, if the user closes the ad or goes to another page, the ad will not show up again for the set time. Default time is 10 minutes, and the format must be in milliseconds. An example, one second equals 1,000 milliseconds. So if I was to um, you know, leave this as is, and I go to the page, and I load it, and it loads once, if I were to refresh the page or go to another page, it won't come back for 10 minutes. Now, it doesn't mean it's just going to show up after 10 minutes. It's only going to show up on a page refresh. So someone would actually have to refresh a page they were on or go to another page after that time ran out to see it again. So it's not going to just pop up on its own if they're sitting there reading something. So I'm going to set this just for test purposes to 1,000 milliseconds. So that's one second. So it'll just keep popping up again. And then the close button text color 
where you saw this closed text. Now, if you were to have a background that was a lighter background, of course, you would want to change this text to a darker color, black or whatever, but the default is white. Now, again, six Fs or even three Fs is white. So if I save those settings, then, of course, you're going to see the same thing on the front side that you just saw come up. Oops, uh, here it is. I need to check it to enable it so it didn't show up. So I will refresh, and now it'll show up. And if I come down here and change the height to, say, 79 pixels, then you'll see that it's automatically going to be set at 79 pixels and makes it higher. So if I refresh, you'll see the ad comes up a little higher. still has the text I put in there. Um, it's probably nice just to leave it to auto adjust to the text you put in there. But if you want it to stand out, if there's you know only this long of a line of text in there and you want it to stand out to somebody, then you can you know make it a little higher if you want to. Now I'll show you if I click on it, it does go to Google in another window. So then don't leave your site. And that's good. You never want people to leave your site when you're you know, giving them a link somewhere else. That way they can just close instead of having to hit the back button all the time. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty basic. Um, Catfish ad, the full version gives you a lot more features. And in the plugin, you have a link to the full version uh, page. And the video is on the page, but you can also, you know, pop the window open uh, pop-up window for the video and play the video just to entice you maybe to want to get the full version. It is only $10, so it's pretty inexpensive, and it gives you a lot more features plus tracking how many times you know people clicked on your ad or moused over it. So I hope this works for you, and if you're trying to save money, then you know this might be the way to go for you, but if you can afford 10 bucks, then the, the full version is way better, and I wouldn't miss out on that. All right, thanks. Best of luck to you.